this is Esther here. of You, Me and Sicily and on this episode we're going to take you to the southeastern side of Sicily and the valley of Noto to Ragusa and Modica. Between Ragusa, Noto and Ibla, those are three of the most visually beautiful places that you can be in all of Sicily in my opinion. If you're from here make sure you leave us a comment in the comment section. Enjoy! Ciao! Ragusa and Modica, two Sicilian treasures noted for their Baroque architecture, art, and elegance. Both are located in the province of Ragusa, about 30 minutes apart, offering a unique Sicilian experience. While there's evidence of prehistoric settlement dating back to the 2nd century BC and the Seacles, the area first grew mostly during the Greek period. Following a short period of Carthaginian rule, it fell into the hands of the ancient Romans and the Byzantines. The island was then occupied by the Arabs and then the Normans. Next, Sicily fell under the Kingdom of Sicily between 1130 and 1816, where there were several powerful families that ruled the island, including Ragusa and Modica. In 1693, a devastating earthquake caused the almost total destruction of the two cities. In Ragusa, the reconstruction in the 18th century divided the city into two large districts. The ancient part, Ragusa Ibla, or Inferiore, built from the ruins of the ancient city, according to ancient medieval layout, and the modern section, Ragusa Superiore, or Upper. In Ragusa Ibla, on the main square, there is the eye-catching Duomo or Cathedral of San Giorgio, one of the greatest expressions of Baroque sacred architecture in the world. Of note is also the Church of St. Joseph and many other churches scattered around town. You can stroll around the town and take in the unique architecture, sampling typical Sicilian foods. The Giardini Able, the main garden, is a beautiful place to take a stroll or just sit on a bench under a palm tree. In Ragusa Superiore, the beautiful cathedral dedicated to San Giovanni Battista, or St. John the Baptist, stands in the main square. Of course, as in most Sicilian towns and cities, there are several other churches scattered around the area. There are also some noteworthy bridges. Now on to Modica, famous for its chocolates and more Baroque masterpieces. Like Ragusa, Modica consists of two centers, Modica Alta, Upper Modica, and Modica Bassa, Lower Modica. The large Baroque Cathedral San Giorgio is dedicated to St. George. While the cathedral was rebuilt following the earthquake, like many other parts of the city, its roots are in the Middle Ages. From the front of the cathedral, a staircase of 300 steps leads down towards Modica Bassa, but you can also take the road. A notable church in Barica Bassa is San Pietro, dedicated to St. Peter. Marica Bassa is a great town to get off the main drag and explore the side streets. Now to 
to one of Europe's finest chocolates. The Modica chocolate is unique and a specialty of the city. It's made with an ancient recipe from the Aztecs. There's no cocoa butter and it is made by manually grinding the cocoa beans which give it a grainy rather than creamy texture. It is then cold pressed. The flavors are endless. There's pistachio, almond, cinnamon, nero de avila, vanilla, lemon, orange, and even hot pepper. Alfred, which chocolate is your favorite? I like the nero de avila chocolate. I like, there's so many good ones. I like the pistachio chocolate. It's very grainy. It's not like the American chocolate, but it's terrific. Based on an Aztec recipe. Okay, if you've enjoyed this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, subscribe to our YouTube channel channel leave us a note and also we're on Facebook right don't forget Facebook it's <laughs> enormous you me and Sicily thanks for watching ciao, ciao. Okay.